Hi, my name is Jenny Martin and I'm part of the 14th cohort at the Data School at the Information Lab and I'm also one of the doctor preppers for Prep and Data. Now that's a weekly challenge site where we give you problems to solve using Tableau Prep, so it's a great learning resource for you that I'll link in the description below. So today we're taking things back to basics and talking about how to connect to data in Tableau Prep, as that's the first step to being able to solve all the cool problems that you want to be able to solve. So if we just jump over into Tableau Prep, then this is the screen that you'll see whenever you open Tableau Prep and it has all of your most recent workflows, much like Tableau Desktop has all of your most recent workbooks in this section. Um, so you'll notice mine are all kind of prep and data challenges, but yours will be whatever you've been working on most recently. So if we take a look into the connect to your data section up here in the top left of our screen, there are kind of a couple of ways you can go about doing this. You can use the big blue connect to data button and it pops out the blue ribbon at the side or you can equally just click on the little arrow here to pop it out yourself and the plus. So there's three different ways we can connect, connect to data either by logging into our Tableau server, by using a local file on your machine or by connecting to a database and there are plenty of different database options so hopefully the one that you're using is within this list because it's quite an extensive list um, so hopefully that'll be an option for you so I'll just show you how quick and easy it is to connect to all of these different data sources so if we go for Tableau server then I'm just going to zoom that out um, I'm going to connect to the information labs Tableau server if I just do that there then you can see that's nice and quick already. Um, it's going to prompt me to enter my credentials here. And then if I just hit sign in, then it will prompt me to choose a site and it will just then bring up this menu for all of the data that we want to, that we have access to on that site in our server. So I'm going to select the UK house prices, connect to that. And you can see that it already just brings that into our workflow, which is really helpful. Now, once you've already started building your flow, then you can use the plus button here to bring in additional supplementary data. So if I wanted to now connect to a Microsoft Excel file, then um, it's taken me to my prep and data folder on my laptop, which I'll just choose any of these inputs. And you can see it hasn't actually brought that in for us. Why is that? Well, it's because there's a couple of different worksheets in that Excel book. So these are those worksheets. So I actually have to pick one of those up and drag it onto the canvas in order to make that an input data step. Now you'll notice this one's kind of more of a data source shape, whereas this is more of a table shape. It's just kind of visually showing you those different data sources. So finally, let's just connect to a SQL server. So we'll go into our plus again and find the Microsoft SQL server all in alphabetical order so nice and easy and then I'll just pop in the credentials for that and just hit sign in and then you can see that it's signed us in really nice and quickly we can select our database if I just go into the data school site and choose the coffee chain which is an old data source that used to be um, within Tableau desktop as well then you can see that that's been brought in for us too all nice and quick um, easy to connect to those different data sets. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, please do subscribe to our channel and stick here for our next video coming up, which is all about removing data when you're inputting it. So how to make the most of the input tool and all the changes you can do within it. If you are new to this channel, then perhaps you'd like some of our other videos on Think Like a Data Prepper um, that Carl recorded for us a couple of months ago. That's really about getting into the mindset of um, data prep and the logical problem you have to solve. So I hope you enjoy those videos and thank you for watching.